After maxing my normal account a few years ago, I made a new IM as a joke. Now I am addicted. No banking, no trading, and no brain cells left. This is my experience on the path to the infernal max cape. Welcome to my UIM Locked series. In the previous episode, we got the Achievement Diary Cape. It's such a cool cape and a big milestone on our way to max. This also means that 90 base stats is our new skill and goal, and we are not far off. It is now time to go back to Chambers of Zurich to look for my decks. I want this really badly before sending Inferno. I mostly run 3 plus 4 raids or 4 plus 3. What this means is that we are 3 or 4 players in the raid, but we scale it to 7 players. This is to give us more points and a better chance at a unique draw. Good luck. Nope, 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 nope. Nothing. There we go. It's white for me. And it's white for everyone. Let's go back here. No, that's the wrong one. I just teleported to the wrong one. How the fuck do I get back? <laughs> UIM issues. Whoa, greatest ass? Right in front of me? Maybe it was meant to be. Maybe I was meant to go here. Holy shit. Galantivo. <laughs> no! I died as I killed it. It's wide. <laughs> I still got all the points, I think. It says total points. That didn't count. Oh my god, it didn't count. Teeny tiny. Oh, I got dragon arrows. Yes. The reason why those dragon arrows is super good for me is that um, I'm gonna use them for Inferno. Those are Inferno supplies right there. It is white. Oh, what did I get? Grandmaster? What is that, like 150 raids or something? Probably 150. That's nice. Stay. <laughs> good job. Let's go. Oh my god, Leonard got a dex! <laughs> it's the first purple we have seen in a while! Look at that! I'm happy someone got something. Once in a while we do teaching streams where we take people on their first Chambers of Zarek runs and explain all the rooms. If you are interested in joining one of these, please join the Discord or come by the stream and we'll make it happen. Oh, don't die! I just died. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> nope. Okay. Oh, I was right oh, before. Right when he... Aww. Tom's got a dex, are you kidding me? Ah, sorry. <laughs> Both the people I raided with today got a dex, and I need one. Since my parents dropped me down the stairs as a child, I struggled to just stay at one grind at a time. Uh, yesterday I was sitting here. I've been raiding a bunch lately, and then I, um, I looked in my bag. I did this, and then I look at this, and I'm like, fuck, we did it again. We did it again, we filled it up with herbs, there's too much shit going on. <laughs> we, need, we need to do this in batches, I cannot just save up a shit ton and then do it all. I, I, I can't, and it's 420 today, so I've been planning secondaries, I've been, I've been doing a little bit off stream, I've been doing urbans, I've been, I've been messing around, and... I thought today, today we're gonna clean up every herb here except the torstals. The torstals are reserved for 90 and super combats, but everything else needs to go. And the big stack here is the dwarf weeds. <laughs> 1071 of those, and for those we are gonna need semi wine. So I kind of started uh, farming some Rakian grapes here, and I'm up to 590 already. I've been going, I've been going big on this one. So the plan is today we're gonna farm grapes. We're gonna we're gonna go around and and farm the urbans cause I also looked in my seed box and I wanna get rid of this stack here and this stack here. I also might wanna do some espori. So we're gonna we're gonna get rid of these two by doing a bunch of farm runs. Let me break down my whole thought process when I do herb lore like this. I start by using the banked XP plugin to see how many herbs I have and which secondaries I need. Then there's a four step process that I follow. I start off by gathering the secondaries. In this specific scenario I farm the potato cactus, the white berries, the snake grass and the sammy grapes. I also go and buy the eyes of nude at a store and then I do tower of life for the red spider eggs and then lastly mole or hunter rumors for noted bird's nest. 
Once I have all the secondaries, I go and clean all the herbs and make them into unfinished potions in Narda. I then death bank and process one stack at a time. I start with the smallest stack first and bag the potions when done. The Sammy ones is a little bit different since I have the grapes and not the wine itself. I buy the packs of jugs and I use Humidify Spell on Lunar Spellbook to fill as I go. That's it. Super simple. I've been making 3000 potions. Basically, I hit 89 herb lore and this is the last of it. This is... This is the final little batch of herb lore that we need to do. Oh my god, I was doing herb lore all day yesterday. I was just sitting here at the Grand Exchange making making these Sammy wines and holy shit. So this is how I make them basically. I use Humidify to fill the jugs with water. I drop half of it. I unnote the Sammy grapes, then make those. And then I unnote the potions. And I wait for these to ferment. <laughs> this is a whole fucking process. It's usually like 10 seconds or something, and then we make those into those. But the thing is, yeah, you can make bad wine too, which makes it a little bit more annoying. So what I like to do is that I just decant these, and then I drop those bad wines. I pick up the jugs of water. <laughs> there we go again. I drop these two on the ground, make those, and then pick those two back up. It's very simple. <laughs> it's, it's very simple. It's just, it takes, it takes some time. Since I got 93 Slayer last video, I wanted to see if I could pull a smoke devil task for the occult. And I somehow ended up at Abyssal Sire. Don't, don't ask. It kind of just happened. <laughs> right, Duradel, I want smoke devils, please. I don't want Dagonauts. <laughs> All right, we're gonna skip this one. We have a lot of points. Okay, we try again. We try again. Smoke, devil, sire. How many? I'll I'll do three. I'll do three. I I want to get to smoke devils as fast as possible. <laughs> Whoa! We actually got an unsired. Whoa! I only picked three on the Slayer task. There's no way. Holy shit. That's my second ever. 73 KC. There's that. I did not expect that. <laughs> so this is my Sire log. I've had one on Sire before. I got an Abbey Dagger. I got an Abbey Dagger from Abyssal Demons 2. That's why I have two. And then I got an Abyssal Head and seven whips. Okay. Let's go dip it in. Oh God. I'm happy with anything that is collection log. I don't want a dupe. Let's do a spin. And then we chuck it in. What do we get? I got a whip. <laughs> Bro, that's sad. Man, actual scam. It's fine, it's fine. Not even a bludgeon piece, okay, all right. Okay, today I've done a Necreal task, I've done a Jad task, I've skipped a Diagonal task, and now we did 3kc Sire. Will we get a Smoke Devil task? Please. Gargoyles. Do I skip? It's a good task though. It's a good task. I don't want to skip, but at the same time, I want an occult. <laughs> God damn it. Abyssal demons. <laughs> I just need the spawns to be nice to me and my arc light to hit. Oh, come on. Oh my god, I'm not hitting. Please. Zero. Zero. My arc light's broken. Can I get a refund? Zero. Zero. That's like eight series in a row. Zero. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, into a max hit. Perfect. Okay, I tell it because I got afraid. Redwood tree seed? That is like one in a thousand something. I need to get that. That's XP. One in 1,700. I want an Unsired. That's a one in a hundred. We're gonna summon a unique. Look at this. We're gonna do that. We are in the middle of the shark. The shark diamond. Let's open it. That didn't do shit. <laughs> we got a Redefender Ornament Kit, but it's a dupe. Good luck, thank you, thank you. Let's see what we get. Garbage and garbage. Fantastic, thank you. Ah, uh, not a bucket this time either. Oh, it's fine. We can start complaining from now on. That is okay. Let's plant another Hispori seed for number 36, eventually. I just want one Smoke Devil task. That's literally all I'm asking. I've been doing Slayer all day. Yes! Corner! My 
I love it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Finally, I've been Slayer for seven and a half hours. <gasps> I've gone through so many Slayer points. Oh, Connor, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, we got the task, but that doesn't mean we get the occult. <laughs> Fuck Duradel. We were finally able to get a smoke devil task. I am so glad I'm excited. So when killing the thermonuclear smoke devil, I do the mage freeze method, where you barrage it and then hit it from max range so it can't attack you back. Let's see if I can get the occult on the first task. You just I got another heart clue? Ah shit. Oh god, now I have more. Okay, we have to deal with this after after this trip here. While I was killing Thermi, I managed to get two heart clues. And I already had some elite clues laying around from before, so I decided to turn them all in at Watson and get myself two whole master clues. Ooh. That's painful. That's a lot of purple sweets though, but it's no unique in the first one. We have one more though. I'm gonna milk it a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. Let's open the other one. Oh, that's even worse. Look at that. That is so bad. 700k clue into 159k moss. What's 159k? That was the last. The last kill on the task. 160 is done. We got 100 points for that. 530 tasks. Not bad. Yeah, 160 and we don't have a task anymore. I guess we'll go and see if Duradel wants to give us one. Will I ever get the occult? Are the homies worth kissing? And will I ever get back to Chambers of Seric? Find out in the next episode of UIM Locked. If you have enjoyed my adventure, consider liking and subscribing. If not, I might seduce your mom. You can also find me streaming all of this content on twitch.tv slash potatohime.